A couple of weeks ago now, an Overwatch streamer called Emweather Service uploaded a video entitled Toxic Overwatch Harassment Girl Gamers Deal With. It is extremely rough to watch. It contains a collection of clips demonstrating the kind of abuse she's received while playing the game with strangers simply because of her gender. At BlizzCon 2017, I wanted to find out how reflective this video was of the wider Overwatch community and to also ask some of the biggest Blizzard fans in the world how they feel when they watch it. I need to warn you at this stage, the language used in these clips is extremely aggressive and at times sexually charged. Can we play around the junk rat idea? Can Go back get... to the kitchen. Excuse me? Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't stutter. I've run into this all the time. Okay. They have the okay. Did I ask you? I have oh, all the widow skins shit. too, cunt. Get off my dick! This is the reason why girls should not do anything other than be a woman. Do not play Overwatch, you fat, ugly, pimple ridden face whore. I don't care what the fuck we pick, we just have to kill shit. Well, oh, looks is like that a grill? It's a grill gamer! <laughs> it's a grill gamer! <laughs> Retweet if you're a furry gamer, am I right, boys? It's a mercy main. Well, I can play whichever healer. I just am playing a lot of Mercy because she's. How about you really play? Good. Go to the fucking kitchen. <laughs> okay, Reaper, can you actually go die? Um, what? Unfortunate. Yeah, I think Mercy's not working out for you, dumb cunt. Learn how to fucking play a proper character. 45 hours, you still suck. I guess girls just suck at video games in general. You fucking stupid boy. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, I made it through. Yeah. So initial thoughts after after watching it. That sounds about right. Really? That's pretty common. Personal yeah. experience. Yeah. It's it's everywhere. Um, that is I I hear that all the time. Definitely not to that extent. But mm -hmm. it's really hard when you have a very mutual area where we're all there just to play the same game and have the same objectives, get on point, and to be attacked just because you're a woman, it it sucks. That's horrible. That was absolutely horrible to watch. It's sad, but that's what happens to pretty much every female that plays a video game and has their voice up. Yeah. You know, I hear that all the time. I ignore it. I've learned over the years just just not to talk in games and just be kind of silent. Yeah, I guess I guess like it's just kind of so typical for me that I just it doesn't really face me anymore. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing on that video that I haven't heard before. So. Well, I, I play with her most of the time these days, and I've, I've certainly heard it lately. It was way worse than I thought, you know, like I, you know, I was looking at it, I was like, yeah, this is something we have to deal with, um, but then watching it, it was just on a level that I was not expecting uh, going into it. It's something I've never seen in game personally, but I know that those corners exist. What, what did you not expect about it in particular? Uh, Maybe it was like the go die. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> the one where it's like go die because you're playing a game and you're a girl. Yeah. That I was like, that's beyond, like that's a little over the top, mm -hmm. no matter what. Um, yeah, like I'm, I'm here, I'm, I'm hoarse from screaming at, the, um, at the, the Overwatch World Championship. And I would love anything for people to look at Overwatch and think about the amazing talent and the amazing... Um, amazing game that we all have to play mm -hmm. but unfortunately this attitude really takes away from what is a beautiful and inspiring game to it's un unfortunate that a person just based off their gender mm -hmm. or how they identify is judged for just the way that they speak mm -hmm. that's unfortunate because my possession of ovaries means that i'm a bad gamer you know mm -hmm. um it, like I said, I think it's pretty common. It's, um, I think that a lot of uh, female video gamers deal with mm. this kind of harassment when they're, so um, I know myself when I was a little bit younger, I used to try to um, pretend that I was, uh, I was a boy and I would refuse to talk in voice chat um, because I was afraid of the, the ridicule and I wanted, I wanted my skill as a video gamer to shine through as opposed to, um, I guess, being judged because, mm. you know, I'm a girl. You said you've experienced similar things when you've when you played as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there was, specifically, I know there was a 
Wrath of the Lich King raid, mm. and I had just joined a pug group, and I got in Vents or Ventrilo, and they, I said, hey guys, thanks for inviting me. I'm gonna, I'm a holy pally, and I gave my item level, and they were like, you need to make sex noises to stay in here since you're a girl. And I was like, excuse me, what do you what do you mean? And they're like, yeah, give us your best sex noise or we're going to remove you from the group. And I was like, guys, I'm a really good healer. You really, that's my requirement, despite my item level, despite my skill, despite all of this gear that I've worked so hard to get, you want me to make a sex noise to stay in the group. Mm -hmm. And they said yes. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm not comfortable doing that. And they removed me. The whole gaming world is just oh, so much more diverse now that it's just kind of still weird to see like all of this going on still, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, like you have female characters as well as male characters. And so you should assume like, you know, all types of people are going to play mm -hmm. and they can play whatever they want, you know? Right. You know, sometimes by even just having one thing that's different about you that they can point out, they're gonna do it because it's the internet and they think they can and it's it's free or something. Mm -hmm. Consistently women are, you know, being treated like go to the kitchen or like just these vulgar languages, like vulgar language in general that really shouldn't be used. You should be respected, not just because of the way you look or the way that you talk, but just the way you play the game. There was one clip in there where there was a Farah player who did speak up, like, what are you guys doing? Just focus on the game. But it, I, most of the time, I think that's really uncommon. It's uncommon. Yeah, I most, think, most people are just going to just roll um, with it. Yeah, and I think, you know, I get that, like, you don't want to start a huge argument in there, but I also feel like if no one says anything, that just feels like, yeah, it's totally cool to just, like, mm -hmm. lay into her like that. Yeah, would you encourage more people to? Um, as uncomfortable as it, as it is to, to speak up and actually be present in those moments and try and... Yeah, I think, you know, something like, um, you know, like, just, you know, like the guy said in the game, just focus on the game or, um, you know, something like, dude, we don't talk like that or just lay off or mm -hmm. drop it or something. Just like simple, not really getting involved and getting into an argument, but just letting them know that you're not on the same page as them. Mm -hmm. And if they're not confronted about it, they're just going to keep doing it. Mm -hmm. They're going to assume that that's okay. Is there anything that you would like to see Blizzard implement to uh, tackle this? I think it comes down to the community. Um, it really has to be the players because they can't be watching everything we do at all the times. Uh, we have to use what they had given us, bans, reports, I mean, um, we have to look into it and uh, police ourselves, you know, make sure that we, we are the community that we want to be. Um, I don't think it's something from Blizzard. I think it's just education as a whole because um, times change and personalities change. And then when you even look at yourself from like 10 years ago, you're like, man, I said something like that? <laughs> was really bad of me to do that sure. and you have to grow up a little bit and sometimes because this is like a teen rated game mm -hmm. sometimes that rating does kind of affect who plays the game yep. and how mature they are mm -hmm. at the start when they play. I, I think that it's important that people do speak up about these things because um, there are <laughs> It's a really difficult subject. It's, it's, it's touchy. Um, and I can understand that people can be really uncomfortable mm -hmm. talking about it because it is, it is very sensitive. Yep. Um, but I do believe that if, if another male were to speak up to um, another male that was harassing a woman in a video game, I think that that would speak volumes. If other men can call out that behavior and they're like, hey, that's that's not right. Let her talk. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. She had a point first. If you're if you're if you're being quiet, you're you're more or less condoning it. Exactly. Yeah. And and of course, it's going to be an awkward situation no matter what. Mm -hmm. Like like okay, I'm listening to this happen. I'm not involved, but I need to get involved. Mm -hmm. I need to I need to report first it and needs foremost. To be uncomfortable. And then yeah. Yeah. And then you need to you need to call them out. It's absolutely. It has to be awkward because or it else is it's going to keep happening. Situation. Yeah, you know they have they need to understand that they should feel ashamed for doing things like that. Mm. It's unacceptable.
Thank you very much for watching this video and thanks once again to everyone who agreed to be interviewed as part of it. This is my third BlizzCon now and I just really like this show. I come back extremely enthusiastic about the people I've met and the generosity that they usually display for one another, which is why I felt it was important to put an actual face to this topic we're talking about. Now, because of the nature of that topic, I suspect the comment section, particularly on YouTube, is going to be a bad one. And I'd ask if you have watched this video and you've agreed with what people have said and would like to make some kind of difference, that's probably not the worst place to start. Try and answer some of that negativity with your own positivity. Um, and yeah, we'll probably ban them anyway, so it's fine. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Bye.